Xiaoyang and Chen, the two-time national champions of China. Eighth at last year's Four Continents Championships. 22nd in the world. You'll see the opening sequence of steps take up to 40 beats before they get started. Look at the very light hops. Lovely timing on that first twizzle. A little bit of difficulty maintaining the unison going into these pepper pot steps. You can see the timing's lagging just a little bit. Here's the cha-cha into the side-by-side -side twizzles. That opening twizzle a little bit slow for Xiaoyang. And you can see the real struggle there between the skaters trying to find their places. Again, slightly off going into this Choctaw. And Xiaoyang and Chen struggling to find each other after the side by side twizzles. Xiaoyang Yu and Chen Wang of China, our first competitors in the compulsory dance. Ladies and gentlemen, from China, Xiaoyang Yu and Chen Wang. What makes, one of the things that makes the fin step so challenging is the fact that the skaters are working on it for a very short time, relatively speaking. It's a dance that has appeared for this season and likely this season only, and only at the European Championships and the Four Continents Championships. The other challenging thing for both judges and skaters alike is that the interpretation, although it's written in paper, can be very, very greatly varied between teams. You could see the bobble on those twizzles for both skaters. Now, take a look at her Choctaw. Then she has to put a free leg behind and do the twizzle to get to this sequence. The boy should be toe and then flat foot, not toe-toe on those steps. And going into this twizzle, you can see that Xiaoyang struggles a little bit to find her partner. Their compulsory best. 29.47 points.
from China, Zhao Yu Wang and Chong Bo Gao, just teaming up in 2008, skating their fin step. And they're into the dance. Jiayu Yu and Chongbo have great style. You can see though that they're having some timing issues. From the Choctaw into these side-by-side -side twizzles. With the separation, it's very difficult for them to come back together to start into the second sequence of steps. I like the lightness, but they're definitely having difficulty with unison. And let's see if the second. Chongbo struggling on his. Jia Yu Wang and Chongbo Gao. If there ever was a time where unison was important in a compulsory dance, it is definitely this dance. Coming into that pepper pots sequence with a sliding stop for both skaters, very difficult. This is the second twizzle where he stumbled. And you can see even with the free leg extension, there isn't quite the unison of some of the more experienced teams. This is where we're working together and for a long time really helps a nice dance. At the conclusion of the first group of competitors, with three more groups to skate, in the lead, Xiao Yang Yu and Chen Wang of China, followed by teammates Jia Yu Wang and Chang Bo Gao of China.
our first skaters in group two, husband and wife team of Maria and Yevgeny Borunov. Their personal best in the compulsory dance, 18.18 points. Currently ranked second in Australia. You can see that there is certain inadequacies in terms of the timing in the stance. And not the same degree of depth of edge that we're going to see with some of our more serious competi uh, senior competitors. Both skaters having problems on those side-by-side -side twizzles. You could see Maria coming out of that first twizzle, basically on two feet. In this Choctaw, you'll see the lack of edge in the first inside to the back outside and then the twizzle. Yevgeny doing all of his steps on toes rather than one toe and one flat foot. Positions much better on those side-by-side -side twizzles. Maria not getting out of her twizzle quickly enough. When this dance is done very well, you can see that there is no struggle between the partners at all, and it has a light, effortless quality. There's the first side-by-side -side twizzles. You could see Maria struggling to get back on time. Both skaters on their toes only in that pepper pot sequence. Second of the two twizzles, she shortchanges hers a little bit. Leaders are still Xiao Yang Yu and Chen Wang of China with a score of 24.65 points. Shintong Huang and Shun Zheng of China currently ranked second in China. Ninth at last year's Four Continents Championships.
Lovely timing coming out of that first twizzle. I really like the sense of accuracy coming into these toe steps. Little loss of unison coming out of those side-by-side -side twizzles, but I love that first twizzle, beautiful. Timing a little bit in and out here on the second side. Shintong and Shun close together. Much stronger presentation from this team. Very much more along the lines of the crispness and, and lightness that China, are talked about in the description. Shintong Huang and Shen Jun of China. I love how close they are together. Nice sense of musicality. Although their timing on the second side was a little sluggish at times. Shintong and Shun nice and close together. Very nice edge quality on that Chokta and into the side-by-side -side twizzles. And look how there was no separation between the skaters. Easily coming back together and coming into their closing pose. Team of Huang and Zheng, our new leaders with a score of 27.56 points. From Australia, Danielle O'Brien and Gregory Merriman. Their personal best in a compulsory dance, 21.73 points. Two-time national senior champions of Australia, junior champions for the three years before.
Danielle and Gregory. Some lovely qualities of speed throughout this fin step, although definitely some timing issues. A little bit of a scramble getting back together after the side-by-side -side twizzles. This first twizzle, very difficult. Nicely done. You could really see the loss of unison there with the little hop. And now scrambling to find the beat again. Danielle and Gregory de had some definite problems with the timing here in the fin step. What I liked about them, though, was their commitment to the character and to the lightness. A sliding stop into the pepper pot steps. On the second side is where they got into trouble with their unison. Meryl Davis and Charlie White, first-time American Ice Dance champions. Silver medalists at last year's Four Continents Championships, ranked sixth in the world in 2008. Opening sequence of steps, serving to just set up the character of the dance. Real judging starts on the first step of the dance, which happens now. Skaters required to skate two patterns. Beautiful timing coming out of that twizzle, very cleanly executed on one foot by Merrill. Slight separation between Merrill and Davis on those side-by-side -side twizzles. Nice recovery into the second pattern of the dance. 
this opening promenade section. Lovely light quality through those pepper pot step. Great execution of the side-by-side -side twizzles. Lovely light quality to their skating, wonderful unison. I found at times that the timing did lag just a little bit. Excuse me, is anybody bring guard? I have them. There's that light quality we were talking about. Nice unison. And into the sliding stop. It was at sections throughout this second side where I really noticed that a little bit of a time lag Twizzles nicely done, nice and tight together. Good timing. Personal best in the ice dance competition for Davis and White, 37.36 points. And this falls just short of that, but gives them the lead with a score of 35.23. Davis and White from the United States take the lead. Next skaters from Canada, Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget. Fifth at last year's Four Continents Championships. 17th in the world. Currently ranked third in Canada. Their personal best in the compulsory dance. 30.94 points. Lovely setup of the characters for this fin step. Nice tidy timing throughout that first twizzle. Good depth of edge on the twizzle into the pepper pot. Very strong musicality. A little bit of a separation there from the side-by-side -side twizzles. Nicely into the second pattern.
very tidy change of position. Second whistles, much better in the second pattern. Very strong presentation of this ballroom style quick step from Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget of Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, from Canada, Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget. Coach Shaylin Bourne looking on. After the first pattern, that was the side-by-side -side twizzle. Look at the beautiful timing coming out of the first twizzle in the first side, the promenade side of the dance. Easy transitions from side to side on the second side. Choctaw into the side-by-side -side twizzles. Second one here a little bit better, not quite as much of a reach for Caitlin and Andrew. Score to beat is still 35.23 points from Merrill Davis and Charlie White in the United States. Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget from Canada move into second. Final competitors in this group from the United States, Kimberly Navarro and Brent Bomentre. National bronze medalists for the last two years. Four continents, bronze medalists a year ago, ranked 12th in the world. Slow getting into that sliding stop for Kimberly. Wonderful execution of the side by side twizzles. And a real ease going into this first twizzle in the second pattern. Free leg a little slow coming into that sliding stop for Kimberly. Very nice feel for this quick step. Lovely expression from Kimberly Navarro and Brent Bomentre of the United States.
Ladies and gentlemen, from the United States of America, Kimberly Navarro and Brent Bomentree. Kimberly and Brent's personal best in the compulsory be uh, compulsory dance, rather, 34.36 points. Huh? Oh, don't you know what? That's all I'm saying. Right? I told you that, and I, and I knew that. I'm telling you my attitude now. You'll see it. You'll see it. You're going to be. Wonderful feel for this quick step. I like the nice tight unison between the skaters. Very little movement of the upper body in keeping with the description and the desired look. Side by side twizzles, first one better than the second. That's where you could see the slowness of her free foot coming into that sliding stop. Second twizzle a little bit messier. You could see clearly Kimberly on two feet in the exit. First skaters in this final group of competitors from Canada, Vanessa Crone and Paul Poirier. Ranked second in Canada. They were last year's world junior silver ice dance medalists. This is their first trip to the four continents. Highest score for them in compulsory dance, 33.71 points. Very strong speed and edge quality throughout this dance. Nice sense of timing. Upper body positions very stable. Vanessa and Paul close together, coming out of that twizzle in the corner. Vanessa losing her balance a little bit on that twizzle. Nice recovery. Skated with exuberance. Ladies and gentlemen, from Canada, Vanessa Crone and Paul Clavier.
What was particularly good about Vanessa and Paul's skate is their high degree of technical accuracy. You can see the stable upper body positions. On the second pattern is where Vanessa ran into trouble on her twizzle. You'll see that her loss of balance and very quick recovery, I might add. Coming up right now, you can see her start to rock a little bit. The next competitors representing Canada, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. From Canada, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, defending Four Continents champions, two time Canadian champions, silver medalists at last year's World Championships. recovery from a little bit of a stumble there from Tessa. Terrific sense of timing. Strong restart. Very tidy footwork, nice use of the skating knee. Beautiful twizzle. Their overall expression, technical superiority, timing, overshadows any little baubles that they might have had.
There's that first little stumble, very nice recovery. Almost like it didn't happen if you look at the next sequence of steps. Great match of the free foot. Music beautifully expressed. Twistles beside each other, unbelievable. Very tight, very fast, perfect timing. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer of Canada take over the lead with a score of 36.40. The final competitors representing the United States of America, Emily Samuelson and Evan Bates. Emily Samuelson and Evan Bates last year's World Junior Ice Dance Champions, currently ranked second in the United States. Their personal best in the compulsory dance, 35.11 points. Great fast footwork. Emily and Evan showing very nice expression. Terrific tw twizzles as they restart this second pattern. Bit of a stumble there for Evan as they go into the sliding stop. Nice recovery. A little bit unglued here on the second side of the second pattern. Beautiful twizzles though, nice timing. Emily Samuelson and Evan Bates, their first trip to the Four Continents Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, from the United States of America, Emily Samuelson and Evan Bates. <laughs> you can see that they have a wonderful degree of unison. Great musicality. Terrific timing after that opening twizzle, which is very difficult.
Katie and Ashley. Hi, Canada. Well, the most difficult part of competition is over. <laughs> well, it will be fun to practice a little bit. The scores, please, for Emily Samuelson and Evan Bates of the United States of America. The compulsory dance score is 31.41. Emily and Evan are currently in fourth place. The standings at the conclusion of the compulsory dance are in the lead from Canada, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. In second from the United States, Meryl Davis and Charlie White. In third from Canada, Vanessa Crone and Paul Poirier. In fourth from the United States, Emily Samuelson and Evan Bates. In fifth from Canada, Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget. In sixth from the United States, Kimberly Navarro and Brent Momentre. In seventh from China, Shintong Huang and Shun Zheng. In eighth from China, Xiao Yang Yu and Chen Wang. In ninth from China, Jia Yu Wang and Chong Bo Gao. In tenth from Australia, Danielle O'Brien and Gregory Merriman. And eleventh from Australia, Maria Boronov and Yevgeny Boronov.